If you're looking for something fun and engaging and informative and educational for your preschooler that gets them off the screens, then look no further because I've got something awesome for you. It's called the Maths Activity Book and it's a personalised PDF which is, you can laminate and reuse over and over again. And I'll show you how to do all of that. My name is Leila Preston from 365 days of no screens.com and I help parents help kids balance screen time. This is the Maths Activity Book. This is a PDF version. In the description box below, you'll have a link to the article, which is the full tutorial of what I'm going to show you in this video and a link to where you can access the activity book in its PDF form, Canva template, or as a book from Amazon. These will all be affiliate links because I'm an Amazon associate. So what that means is I may earn a small commission if you click through to buy via those links at no extra cost to you. So this is the maths activity book. What you do is when you, when you access the link, when you access the PDF, the Canva template, you can change all of these elements. These are pro elements from the Canva template, which means you will buy, pay for extra for every each pro element used. But you can go in using a free Canva account. I think the pro account is $10.99 a month, something like that. You can go in using the free account and just change all of these to free uh, objects, free items, free elements. Um, otherwise you'd have to pay extra or you can but the PDF that you got is non-personalized so you won't have the name on there you can go into the Canva and you can personalize the this PDF version so you have 55 pages in total the first 51 pages need to be pre print, 50 51 pages need to be printed front to back and then the last few pages will be printed one side only. These are the pieces that you will laminate and stick on as an interactive activity for the maths book. And then I will tell you a little bit about what we, what items we will use to do the laminating. So here is the Canva template. I'm going to change this to the just maths activity book and make this the template for you. Template Maths Activity Book, and then you can just go in and change that. Um, this should have said, look here, you see I've just added all these numbers, and I'm just going to show you how to amend certain pages. So I'm just going to Control C, Control V, and then use this to write down. Oh. How many foxes? Four. So then I write down fox. And then we're going to duplicate that and put this down here. And one, two, three, four, five. So fox should be here. How many whales? Count the rocks. What you need for your laminating is a laminator. This is the racial or the racial, I think it's called laminator. This is my favorite because it comes with a set and a guillotine, which is what we'll need to cut out the pieces. And the laminator set comes with a key ring set. The set itself actually is perfect for a project like this because it has a key ring set, it's got a paper rounder where you can round the sharp edges which are perfect for kids because otherwise they get a bit sharp the corners. And you've got a piece of string, some frames and a singular, singular hole punch. Uh, in this project I would recommend having a double hole punch, um, I'll explain why in a second. Um, you get some pouches as well with the set, it's about four or five pouches, it's not enough. You, so you, I've ordered something like this, which has got 100 pouches, laminate pouches. This is perfect for two busy books because you need about 50 laminated pouches. There's more information on that in the description below. You can do, use this whole set for the numbers activity book that we, I'm showing you today in this video, or the toddler busy book, a link of which is in the description box below of all the details if you want, for the, if you want to do the toddler busy book as well. That's there and the link to the video here. You'll also need some hook and loop dot loop dots. These are from Amazon as well. I'll send, I'll share a link. 
These are really good because um, they're small, so you can still see the pictures underneath, but they're also very strong, very durable, and you can use them for your pieces to stick them on and off. Then you've got some key rings. Um, the, the set that you get with the laminator is an actual key ring. I wouldn't recommend using one of those because it's quite difficult to maneuver and you have to put in quite a lot of pages. So what I would recommend is one of these, which open and close, very easy, much easier to feed the laminated, pouch, laminated pouches in. I'll share a link with those in there as well. And then a pencil case to hold all your little pieces that you'll cut out. Um, this pencil case is perfect because it's see-through so you can see what's in there. And a whiteboard marker when you laminate it. You might, if you might be using just the PDF print version, in which case you won't need this. But the, the reason why laminated is perfect is because it's wipeable and you can reuse it over and over again. So something like this is brilliant. Something like this is use, um, useful because it's got a razor at the end. So you can use an eraser to wipe off and then restart and you wipe off and you reuse again. So it's great. You also need a hole punch. So a singular hole punch comes with the set, but I wouldn't recommend a singular hole punch because if you, you might not get the measurements right and it'll be very difficult to put the pieces together. So what I would recommend is using a normal hole punch and then you can just hole punch the pouches when you're done. Like so, like that. And I think that's it. I couldn't find my paper around I have no idea where it is, but I will be using one. I will, as soon as I find it, I will share it. I will put a proper description, a link in the description below just to show you which one I'm using. And I think that's good to go. Let's create the book. Right, so I've done the activity book now, so I'm really excited to show you what it looks like. So this is the finished version. It took me about, I would say three hours because I had loads of kids. So uh, it does take a while to do, but once you've got the template version, you can get everything ready. I'm gonna show you how it all works. One thing I didn't say before is um, to keep everything nice and tidy, you can get one of these pouches, but I'm gonna show you what it looks like when I'm done. But let's go through the maths activity. It's super exciting. So I have the pen in here, but what I'm gonna do is just show you the little pieces and then pop them in there when I've showed you. So this is the finished version. Um, everything has been laminated back to front. I put everything on the clips as you saw in the video. And I'll just go through what everything is. So you've got the numbers one to 10. Um, this is a simple tracing activity. You can use the whiteboard marker um, and then you can count the apples as well. So it's according to the uh, numbers. And then this is a sticking on interactive activity. So you find the piece that's zero and then you just, it's been connected with the hook and loop dots and then you can just reconnect it in there or you can take it off and you can pop it in your 
pencil case like this just to keep things nice and tidy. And that's up to 11, 12 to 30, 12 to 23, sorry. And then you can just take these off, get your child to match them like that, see? Perfect. And then you've got all of these little pieces, all these pieces come off, you can match them. And then you've got trace the ones and twos, so you can trace the ones, rub them out, do it again. Threes and fours, so same activity, threes and fours, trace and say the name. Fives and sixes, sevens and eights, nines and tens. How many of each can you find below? Then you write the answers count. That's the counting activity. Then you've got find the numbers on the flags and write down the missing numbers. Say and trace the other numbers too. So you've got one, two, and then you've obviously got a blank flag there. Um, and you put three on that one, four, then you've got five and six blank. And then, you know, encourage your child to say out the name and then help them write the numbers if they need the help. How many, look at the pictures and read the questions, write the answers in the boxes. So you've got how many sides, well this is a triangle, so you count how many sides, one, two, three, and you write down three, how many apples, how many eyes, and you can help them because when they're younger, they'll probably need a bit of help, but when they're older, they should be able to do that on their own. How many apples on the trees, say and trace the number, so you've got apples here, count how many apples and then write down and then trace them down. Um, don't forget these are pro elements, so you will need to change them or just print out the PDF version, which will have all of these elements in there. Count the objects and write the numbers in the boxes. So you've got this time around, I've written the words because there's um, these are all different fruits, long words. So you've got strawberries, count how many strawberries, write them down. Frog and a log, count the frogs. So in your copy it's frogs, not objects. And write the numbers in the boxes. So you've got how many frogs. This is designed to go um, a bit further on from five. And then just count the numbers and, uh, of how many frogs and write them down in the boxes. And you've got a simple dot to dot picture. And um, draw the lines and then ask them what that shape is that they've created. Um, and then we've got how many people should be on the bus. Now this comes off, so you'll have blank buses and then you just, there's number four on the bus and you'll find the piece with four people on it and then you just match it to the right bus. And that's designed to count the people that you have on the bus. How many sharks can you count? Select the correct number. So you've got three different numbers here. Count all the sharks and get the child, your child to circle the correct number same with the stars this is my favorite one add the pieces in number order to read the picture this is designed to introduce the child to jigsaw puzzles because all of these puzzles these pieces come off and if you can as you can see it's blank underneath with a tiny little bit of picture a little bit of drawing and i've put the hook and loop dots on the numbers purposely just to give them a little bit to think about and then they just match the number one, two, three, four, five to the puzzle. And then they make this lovely picture. And in the end, they'll, when we've got big or small, so this is designed to distinguish between big and small. Um, this should be about the time when they start learning about those things. And you've got another dot to dot picture. This one's a little bit more complicated. It goes up to 20. You might not, your child might need some help with this one, but it makes a lovely picture afterwards. And then you've got two by two, draw and lines to match each pair of animals. So it's designed to use the eyes to match where all the, the, the pairs are and then count how many pairs and write the pairs down on the box below. And this is a really good logic problem. This is designed for um, 11 plus later on. And the reason why I did these kind of pictures was because I found that they were coming up a lot in the 11 plus questions on obviously a much more complicated capacity. But this is a great way to introduce your kids to 11 plus logic work basically. Then you've got count each group of animals and circle the number. So you've got how many pandas, circle the correct number, how many cats, how many birds. Then you've got counting, more counting. So count how many flowers are in each pot and write down the number in the boxes. Well, write down the number in the vases. You've got the boxes here and then what you do is you draw a line to match the correct number. So it's two games in one and that one, two activities. Do the sums below by adding the shapes together. Now this is designed to introduce addition and takeaway. This is sums on a very basic, basic capacity. It's got the two circles, add the two circles, I've put um, some word texts in there just to introduce the names of all the, the equations. 
but it quickly cools adds all the, the names of the symbols got the stars so how many stars and the boxes with the sums and this time you've got taking away so this is minus so we're taking things away you can do that with the with the child just to cross out with how many there are on each side more taking away this time a little bit more complicated and then you've got more sums but this time with the numbers we're introducing the numbers in the maths equations now and then you've got another dot to dot but this time it's just joining the circled numbers then you've got how many legs count how many legs on each animal and write the numbers below and then this one is another logic problem it's counting all the squares circles rectangles and triangles and then adding them to the boxes add these balloons so this is more addition just adding the balloons and then this time we're counting the fish in the tank and then we're adding extra fish so that's another addition but it's just designed to problem solve addition questions in a different way taking away this is the taking this is designed to follow the instructions they're at the top and then doing the actual equation the formula what they call it the sum um, and then more taking away okay and then we're adding the correct number of items so you're given the number just match the correct items to the pieces then you've got count to 30 and this is designed to count to 30 and then we're introducing even and odd so this is even numbers, odd numbers, and then you colour even numbers in red and the odd numbers in blue. And then we're doing more drawing, draw the right number of fish in each column, count to 50, so we're going beyond 30 now, and then count to 100. So this is the 100 square grid. And then you can use this activity to talk about how each numbers look. And this is a really interesting activity, you've got these little pieces, and this is designed to find the numbers. I've purposely put the hook on these dots to, to cover the numbers. And then you use these little pieces to find where they belong in that grid, in that 100 number grid. And then another logic problem, count the triangles in the pyramid, write the answer in the box below. Okay, then you've got size matters, so you circle the tall items. So this is just designed to, for the child to look and see what's the shortest, what's the tallest. Um, write the numbers that come between the numbers already shown here. So that is getting the child to figure out what's missing in the and write them down. This is the colour by adding. It's got lots of little equations, lots of little sums here. And then see if you can write the numbers on the catalogue from 1 to 10 without looking, no, no help. And that's it. There's your maths activity book. My daughter really loves it. And uh, it's, uh, it's something that you can use over and over again. So if you need any help with the template itself, just send me an email. The details are in the box below. And take, take a look at the tutorial that I've sent, the article. The link to the article will be in the box below as well, just to help you from A to B, A to Z, of how to do this, um, a full step-by-step. -step. We've got a link to the Canva template. We've got a link to the article. We've got a link to the PDF version. So when you purchase the template, you'll get the PDF, the non-personalized PDF version. You'll get the personalized template, uh, camera template, which you can change around and, um, and everything. Your PDF will look like this with all the pro elements. It just won't have the name on there. And, and then when you're done, you can pop the activity book in your bag to keep everything nice and tidy. Pop everything in there. go fits perfectly I'll give, leave a link to that as well and then your pencil case don't forget your pencil case put all your bits in there that goes in there you can button it up pop it in and there you go there's your maths activity book so best of luck all the items that I've used will be in the box below and if you need any help just pop a comment below in the box, ask me anything you want, what kind of paper I use, what kind of laminated pouch I use, it should be all in the tutorial. But if you need any help, just, and, and pop a like if you like these kind of uh, tutorials and if you want to see more on my YouTube channel, let me know. Anyway, best of luck and hope your child enjoys it.